They've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today as the video and the title says, this is the best build I have for the Vampire 2 per request. Uh, that You guys are really, really wanting to see more of the Vampire, uh, what my thoughts are, the reviews, what kind of builds do I use. I think this is the best build I have for it right now, especially for the mode you're seeing we're playing today, which is airships. But before we begin and go into it, thank you guys uh, so much for all the support and for the channel, for the... The, the kind words and everything really, really helps me out a lot. Really appreciate it. It makes me feel good that what we're doing here is building a great community, having fun about learning stuff, how to get better, uh, and just really overall just having a blast, learning things, and just sharing um, good tactics and strategies with everybody. And it's been a really, really great time. We're almost to 1,000 subscribers. That's our goal. Hey, let's try to make it happen, uh, folks. And uh, like, subscribe, bell button below, comment, whatever you like. What can we do to get better? Helps us out a lot here on the channel. So... Let's get right into it. Vampire 2, one of my favorite destroyers. Of course, I'm a DD main, gunboat DD main, that is. And the Vampire satisfies that role very well. Watch this as we go on, take on the Chung Mu right here. Now, this is almost not fair since it's a tier 9, but we're a tier 10, but it does not matter. We're going to take what we can get. The Chung Mu actually puts up a good fight right now. So what I would like to do is talk about the tactics that we do. So what do I do? I know that I have better, a really good concealment. I've got a 5-kilometer Hydro, and he's got smoke. So what do I do? I'm going to keep driving at him with hydro on and I've also popped my crawling smoke so I go undetected real fast he goes undetected which means he can't spot me so what am I thinking right now I'm gonna charge him and I'm gonna find out where he is now look at my build I have the RPF uh, really really good ability the RPF in front of me right now the little white arc which tells me general direction of where he's going so I look behind me who do I have supporting I got a kit kit to Kazi the Chung Mu doesn't so as you see notice the tactics strategies I'm using right here always go with a friend if you don't have support, back away. It's okay to come fight another day. Throwing your ship away does not help the rest of the team. The DDs I lose uh, first right off the bat, usually end and lose the game. So I try AP at first here. I thought he was going to turn away from me, but he actually did a smart thing. He counterattacked it very, very well. He turned away and started jinking, but right here is where he can't do much. Uh, he's showing a full broadside, and there's nothing more he can do. I go full broadside, show all the guns, and splash one RIP back to Porter. He is down for the count. One destroyer down on the flank, and they are pretty much defenseless here. And that's exactly why you don't want to throw your DDs away right off the bat. Nothing he did wrong. He did the best he could. He just did not know that there was two destroyers here uh, that really were just helping them out as uh, helping each other out. And that's exactly why I support gameplay, tactics, working together, communicating, and that's how you win battles. So what are we doing right now? We turned away. He had deep water torp, so we're not really scared. What could the Chung Mu have done better than that one? Well, initially, I would say that he did it right. What he uh, There's nothing more he could have done because I was more counter tactic him. I had the 5-kilometer Hydro that he wasn't anticipating. So, again, the, the only thing I can think of is know where all the destroyers are right off the bat first before you begin to engage. Uh, if you don't know where everybody's at, recommend not engaging right off the bat unless you know you have a clear advantage which i did i knew i had a five kilometer crawling smoke kind of a fast gun dd boat and i'm a tier 10 he's a tier 9 so i knowing the the battles that you have right there going into it really helps you out a lot so again chung Mu did great he jinked away turned away popped smoke ran away nothing more he could have done uh that's my thought on that but let me know what you think on that but now we're going to start farming the zetan right here and we're using our crawling smoke that we initiated it is out right now smoke is gone 
and we're just going to keep shooting from a distance all while we have a Kremlin pushing us right now. So we're going to go ahead and start setting fires on the Kremlin. My crawling smoke is now gone and is on re cooldown, uh, but now I'm, when I fire, I'm exposed. So this is the best solution for me right here is to run away or jink away. And watch this. If people are shooting at you, you know that you're more of a juicy target than all the other ships behind you, which means they know you're more deadly than anybody else. That's sad when a destroyer, and it's kind of funny, a destroyer is one of the most powerful um, ships in the game because they're all shooting at you. So good thing Kremlin is not shooting at us, but no, not until he notices we're starting more fires on him than anybody else. Notice his guns are aiming at me. We start one fire, and we're just aiming just right above the hell right there so we can get the shells landing on the superstructure, and we get to launch torpedoes. Now... As these shells come in, watch as I slam on the brakes, go in reverse. Where are his shells going? I see the exclamation point. Okay, he fires. I've noticed they must have nerfed the engine on this thing because it does not speed up very well anymore. You know, it's very, very sluggish on the Vampire 2. So just realize that you're going to have to use that engine boost if you want to start jinking and doing the stuff like that, what I just did right there. Uh, I did all I could, but again, it's very, very slow to jink. The gun rate reload is really, really awesome. Good DPM. Torpedoes, they take one away, one rack away. It's like a daring, basically. Uh, the Vampire is basically a daring with one less set of torpedoes, but because they gave took away one set of torpedoes, you get a fast reload rate, which is what you're seeing right now, the power of the, the, um, the Vampire right here. And we're just doing a little bit of juke and a move in right here. And Kremlin goes down. He is out for the count. And this flank looks like it's secure. It looks like we've got the Zeton coming back at us. We're going to go ahead and start setting a fire on him. Look at that reload rate. Great arcs, great guns. It's just essentially, again, a daring. He goes down as well. And now we're going to go ahead and push the cap and target. So we're going to go inside the, uh, I guess you could say, airship cap. And that helps us push forward. Uh, or we can just go ahead and support our Kit Dikaze and spot for him as we're going ahead. Uh, our RPF is showing the closest ship to us is probably just off to our uh, 1 to 2 o'clock right there. And again, some of the things I like about the, the Vampire is the one, the concealment's awesome. You notice the concealment here is 5.8, which means we almost outspot almost everything on the map. So we see first, shoot first. The next thing is we have a general direction of where the closest ship is. That's what the RPF is for. Torpedoes are ready to fire again. I mean, really great. Very nice reload rate, I would say. 12 kilometer distance, and there's only one rack. It still does enough damage, good punch. Very useful sometimes, but again, one rack, A, it's better than nothing, but the range is a lot better than the daring of uh, 10 kilometers. This one's 12, so it can reach out and touch somebody. So what we're going to do again right here is just follow the airship uh, path that you see on the mini maps, just kind of like a spiral. So we're just going to slowly crawl forward and, and just continually spot and just shoot all the rest of the ships right now. So this is pretty much the end of the game. As you can see up at the top, our timer is a lot shorter than theirs. Their airship is not moving as fast as the rest of our team to the north is. Uh, also, uh, fire. Or, I'm sorry, uh, holding them back. If we get one ship in their airship, uh, the, the uh, rectangle or sphere, if you want to call it, it slows them down and speeds us up. So that's a really good thing right there. We have a Minotaur right there. So notice RPF is pointing towards the Minotaur. And ooh, it switched over Yoshino. So I have a rough distance as to where they, uh, they're at. So 9.5 in the Yoshino, which means that the Minotaur is probably 9.6. Uh, right out the bat. So that's why that's how you use RPF. Figure out who's the closest target by looking at distances of known targets. So now that we're going to uh, Yoshino's there, we're going to go ahead and push the min the Mino. Now I have my Hydro ready to go. If I can get within a certain distance of his smoke, I could actually pop Hydro. That's what I'm thinking of right now. If he stays in his smoke for the long majority of the time, because I know he's not a radar since obviously he's using smoke. So if I push the smoke, I know I have the option of popping the Hydro and trying to reveal him and do the best I can. AP on the Vampire is very, very deadly. If you get a broadside uh, light cruiser, you are going to melt them to bits. So I think I definitely understand and recommend that. I slow down for a second because he stops firing, which means he's probably moving forward and he's probably going to get out of the smoke right now. So I'm probably going to outspot him. I have my smoke ready just in case I get spotted so I don't get blapped by the Mino. So let's see what this Minotaur is going to do right here. Is he going to come out? And our torpedoes miss. And let's see, where is this mono? We're just slowly pushing at about three quarter half speed right now. Anything we can do to, we keep it at a quarter speed because if we need it, we can pop smoke and quarter speed is just enough to keep us in the crawling smoke. So where is this Minotaur? Let's see here. We have uh, two other destroyers, three destroyers. So there are two. So they have a slight good advantage. I always say destroyers are the key to the game. Where is this mino? There he is. Okay, so he is just right outside our range. I'll pop smoke right away because I know he's going to blap us right now. And boom, he takes a massive citadel right there. We're also going to start firing our citadels. Look at this. Ooh, and he goes down for the count. He is out of the game right now, but not before 
We actually are going to actually no. He, yep, buddy's got them. Oh, we got the black and the daring. So we're gonna go ahead and push the destroyers, or the rest of our team pushes them. But that is pretty much the end of the game. Let me know what you think about the vampire in airship escorts. I think it's one of the most powerful destroyers in the game for this game mode, for this type of play style, for what I do. It does everything. It can spot destroyers, hunt them down. It can contest caps. It can tor torp. Okay, not the greatest. The the, um, the gun power is very very powerful, especially when you're crawling smoke. You burn down everything on the map. And uh, really, the only gripe I have about this destroyer is the fact that it is, I think it got nerfed with the engines or something because it just does not speed and stop start anymore as it used to back in the day. I feel like it's just been uh, power crept or nerfed for that. Ooh, another black goes down right there by the Ohio. And now we're going to go ahead and push the rest of the destroyers right there and see if we can call it a day. But right there, that is the uh, Vampire 2. Really, really powerful. It's in the Research Bureau. Let me know what you think uh, below in the comment section. If you like it or dislike it, check out the build at the very beginning. I think it's one of the best builds for this uh, type of play style. So hope you guys are doing well. Look forward to seeing you guys soon. Let me know what you think, and we'll have some more Vampire 2 videos because i got a couple more good games in this ship. Really, really like it. And until next time, you guys stay safe. Cheers.